recognize the individuals who played such a pivotal role on the team that moved exit 113 access from a hope to a certainty. They are Senator Susan Collins, who was key in securing some of the funding for the project and who has been so helpful to us in so many ways. The Maine Department of Transportation Commissioner, David Bernhardt, also from the Maine DOT, Darrell Belts and Herb Thompson. From the City of Augusta, Mayor Bill Stokes, City Manager Bill Briggio, and Mike Dugay. Former Mayor Senator Roger Cates, Wayne Mitchell from the Board of Trade, Dana Connors from the Maine State Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and Peter Thompson from the Kennebec Valley Chamber of Commerce, and last but not least, John Melrose from Eaton Peabody Consulting Firm. Speaking on behalf of the group, it is my pleasure to introduce Roger Cates. Following two terms as mayor of the city of Augusta, last November, Roger was elected by the people of Augusta, China, Oakland, Sydney, and Vassarboro to represent them in the Maine Senate. An accomplished attorney, he is a former president of the Maine Trial, Law Trial Lawyers Association. Roger has always been a solid partner in the community. He sees both sides of the issues and has such a grasp of the big picture. He's been a huge help to us over the years and played a leading role in moving forward with Exit 113. Securing the access from Exit 113 wasn't easy and it wasn't quick. It began more than seven years ago. It is significant not just to provide our patients easy access or a convenient way to our facilities, but just as important for the region to promote economic development. So now I'll turn it over to Roger. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck, for the honor of being invited to, um, to be here in this happy, happy day for our community in the region. I spend a lot of my time in courthouses and I realized that uh, those buildings and hospitals have something in common. It's great to be at a groundbreaking, but nobody wants to really spend a lot of time there otherwise. <laughs> so I hope you won't be offended if I say that speaking for myself, I don't hope to spend a lot of time back here other than this and the, um, in the grand opening. As Scott and Chuck would tell us, it has certainly not been easy getting to this point. So what should be the theme music for this morning's celebration? Well, maybe it's the Beatles lyrics from the long and winding road. Or, Loving Spoon's full song, Do You Believe in Magic? But maybe the Grateful Dead said it best, what a long, strange trip it's been. And it certainly has been. But this is good news for all of us, a, a first-class, world-class medical facility that will provide quality health care for us, and our kids and our grandchildren. And it's good news that will empower our region to compete for the best and brightest doctors and other healthcare professionals who've already begun to come in anticipation of the new technology and team-oriented approach they'll find here in addition to the wonderful quality of life in Central Maine. It's good news for the economic health of our region. A new important arrow in our quiver is we seek capital investment for the new jobs we'll have to try to attract in a changing economy. It's certainly good news for the 3,800 plus employees who will work here. Good, stable jobs with all kinds of opportunities for advancement, not to mention all the spin-off jobs for the businesses that will support this hospital. It's good news for the hundreds of construction workers and tradesmen who will work here over the next three years. Some of them are standing right over there. You guys aren't on the clock, are you? Uh -huh. it, it is the largest construction project in the, in the history of this area. And as we've heard, kudos from Maine General for giving preference to local contractors and suppliers. It,
And, and let me share a secret. The improvements to this exit 113 are good news for our community, apart from this project, because the cold hard facts are that without this uh, improvements to exit 113, Maine DOT would turn off the spigot on any new traffic movement per, uh, permits in this area. That impediment will now be gone, and that's great news for us. Speaking of the Exit 113 initiative, it's a great example of teamwork, as, as Chuck said. I remember being in a meeting a couple of years ago with Senator Collins, who told us about the brave new world that is Congress. If we wanted federal dollars, she told us, we had better show that the community was going to pitch in too. And that is just what happened. The business community, through the Augusta Board of Trade and the Chamber of Commerce, contributed study money to get this work started. The hospital, obviously, and the Alphon Foundation put in significant private dollars. The state, with the support of two governors and two DOT commissioners, committed state funding. The city has committed tax increment financing dollars. And of course, our congressional delegation, led by Senator Collins, really pulled a rabbit out of the hat here with federal dollars that at one point looked impossible. This great day is the story of people, board members, administrators, doctors, the Alphon family, and others who have made significant philanthropic contributions, and yes, even a few politicians. But really, it's a story about how those people work together for a common goal, a world-class new medical center for our family. To all of you, thank you. It is happening. Thank you.